Hey YouTube, I just uh, picked up the newest Stephen King novel, uh, Under the Dome. Everybody seems to be jumping at getting this book. <clears throat> it's getting a lot of really good reviews. Um, people are putting it as probably one of their top five books, uh, Stephen King's, of all time. Pretty meaty book. Uh, it comes in at uh, 1,074 pages. Um, this is the regular edition, the regular first edition, that you can get at any of your bookstores. Uh, fairly basic novel. Um, it's kind of got a matted treatment here, and then where the dome is, it, it's a uh, different texture, um, kind of slippery. Um, there's the inside there. Notice the inside is just white. Uh, yeah, definitely excited to read this. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to get to it because I'm right in the middle of another book right now. Uh, I figure it's probably going to take me some time to get through this. But um, I definitely look forward to what happens to these people. Now, me being uh, someone who's got to have every book, I also got the collector's edition. Um, I was really hoping I'd see a video of someone putting up uh, like an unboxing or something of the collector's edition because uh, I just really didn't know what it looked like um, and how different it was from a regular edition. Uh, it's not too different. Uh, there's some subtle differences. It's got a uh, belly band on here. I think this is the belly band. Um, it just basically wraps around the dust jacket. Um, like so, and then on the back too as well. The uh, size of the book is the uh, is the same, a thousand seventy four. Uh, there's some minor differences. The paper quality, um, if you have a real knack for this stuff, the paper quality is actually much nicer. Uh, one big difference too, from the collectors and the regular, is on the collectors you get the map printed on to the. Uh, the board um, and it's pretty detailed uh, it covers the entire town and uh, yeah it's pretty remarkable a lot of details um, let's see you're not going to be able to notice uh, a difference in the quality of the paper itself from looking at a video camera uh, one thing I can tell you if I can come across one here is that Whenever you hit uh, the odd chapter, it seems like you'll get a picture of one of the characters uh, inlaid. Sometimes it's in between, say, a chapter over here, and then there'll be a picture here, and then a chapter starting here. Um, so it's kind of nice to, I suppose, to have an idea of what these people look like. Um, it comes with a ribbon marker. It's just attached to the book. Uses a nice fancy bookmark. Uh, nice touch. And let's see what else. Comes with this little box. Just open it up. And these apparently are collector's cards of all the characters. Um, so you basically have. Um, on this case a dog and the significance of that character in this case it's Julia Shumway's beloved old corgi um, this is kinda nice if you really want to get to know everybody including the woodchuck apparently the woodchuck has some has some significance to this story um, yeah so they've got all kinds of characters I think that, if I'm not mistaken this guy is supposed to be a badass Anyway, um, so yeah, definitely, I don't know if it's worthwhile to spend full price on a collector's edition. Um, you know, if you just want a book, a copy of the book for your shelf, I'd say just get the regular one, uh, unless you're a diehard fan. Um, for my case, uh, I, I got this book for half the price of what it retails at, um, I think it retails somewhere around $75 or $90 or somewhere in that ballpark. And I ended up getting this for, 
50, 50 bucks, 50, 45, 50 bucks. Um, yeah, for me it's well worth it because I like collecting these books. And since this one seems to be a top book, uh, according to the reviews, it's probably worth worthwhile getting. Uh, the only one I didn't splurge on was the autographed limited edition Under the Dome book. Um, yeah, I think it sold out in two two hours or something like that on Simon & Schuster's website. But, uh, yeah, that's the Under the Dome books. Um, definitely going to be a good book. Can't wait and suggest you get out there and get this one because it's definitely worth the money you'll be paying for, especially if you're buying it off Amazon.com. It's only like nine bucks, so... All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.